my channel. My name is Erin Scott and today I created this makeup look for you. So it's a very like pinky feminine girly makeup look. It's quite simple to do. I used all Makeup Geek eyeshadows and just before I get onto the tutorial I just want to say a massive massive thank you to all of you who are new to my channel that came over from Shannon's vlog the other day. Um, that was like totally out of this world. I'm still ridiculously overwhelmed by the response that I got from that. Um, I'm so so lucky that she even found my channel in the first place. So I just wanted to say a big hello and thank you to all of you who have come over from her channel. I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I create and I hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos that I create. And yeah, enough of the cheesy, cheesy stuff. I hate being cheesy, but I just wanted to say thank you, thank you so much. Um, it seriously was the highlight of my whole entire year. So yeah, anyway, if you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm running very low on this, so I'm going to have to open the bottle and just kind of like scoop it out. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the color W3, W3 Golden Beige. And for concealer today, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm just going to use it to highlight the center of my face as well. going to set that in place using my Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. And to set the rest of my face today, I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Powder Foundation on my Sigma Large Powder F20 brush. Okay, so I'm going to move straight onto my eyes now. I'm going to prime my eyelids using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. And I just use my fingers mainly for this, just to kind of like dab it on and then smudge it in. I bring it all the way up to my brow bone as well. So I'm just going to set that concealer down now using the shade Beaches and Cream from my Makeup Geek Z palette. And this is just going to get rid of that tackiness and the stickiness from that concealer to make sure that the next eyeshadows that we put on go on seamlessly and they blend easier as well. So for my transition color today, I'm going to be taking the color Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek as well on my Sigma Tapered E40 blending brush. And I'm just going to pop this all through my crease and it's just, yeah, you don't have to be precise with it because it's literally just going to be a transition color. Next up, I'm taking the color Chickadee, which is just this one here. It's kind of like an off yellow orangey type color. And I'm going to place that in my crease using my blending E25 brush. I'm going to keep this a little bit more precise than what I did with Peach Smoothie because I want this to sit more directly in my crease. Next up, I'm going to take the color Mango Tango, which is just this center color here. And I'm going to take that on my Sigma E39 Buff and Blend brush. And I'm going to precisely keep this in my crease, working from the outer corner all the way through to the inner corner. And I'm going to sweep that really precisely through the crease. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a little bit of like a halo effect right around my crease using that Mango Tango color. And I just keep putting my brush back into the color and building it up pretty much just to the intensity that I kind of want it to be. So I'm now just going back in with a clean tapered blend E40 brush and I'm literally just going to go over those colors and just blend out the edges so that they're a bit more seamless. 
I'm now going to take the Makeup Geek pigment in the shade Sweet Dreams and I'm going to place that all over my lid. I'm going to use my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush for that and I'm going to spritz a little bit of this MAC Fix Plus onto my brush just to wet it so that it picks up kind of more pigment and just distributes it a lot heavier onto my lid so I get a better payoff as well. So I'm just popping that all over my lid and bringing it up to the crease but I'm not really bringing it any further than the crease because I still really want that Mango Tango to really shine through in the crease there. Rather than like swiping this product on as well I'm kind of just pressing it onto my lid and I find that that kind of just like packs the color on and that's how you get the highest payoff. So now I'm just going to go back in with the color Mango Tango and my Buff and Blend E39 brush and just build up that color in the crease just because packing on that Sweet Dreams pigment has kind of blended that Mango Tango color out a little bit more so I just want to intensify it just a little bit. I'm then just going to bring a little bit of Mango Tango down onto my lower lash line using the same brush. Okay, so I'm now going to apply some eyeliner. I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to apply the eyeliner just above, like just on my lash line, my upper lash line, just to kind of define the lash line a little bit more. And it just kind of makes it look like you've got a lot more lashes than you actually do. And I'm using, nearly forgot to tell you, I'm using my Model Co Lash and Line and I'm using the eyeliner part from the duo. I'm also just going to um, pop some black on my lower lash line and kind of smoke that out and join it up to that eyeliner that I've just put on there. Eyeliner. I'm going to use my Flat Definer E15 brush for that and I'm going to keep it quite close to my lower lash line and then I'll smoke it out with another brush after. And I'm kind of just bringing that like two thirds of the way around. And then I'm just going to use a pencil brush and blend that color out. I'm just taking a bit more of that black onto my flat definer brush just to smoke it out a bit on that top lash line. I'm now going to coat my lashes in mascara and the mascara that I'm using is the White Night Mascara by Pony Cosmetics. And for my falsies today, I'm just using my Delight Lashes by Socialize and my Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive Glue. I'm just going to go over the lash line now with a bit more of that Corrupt Eyeshadow and just to cover up that lash line and smoke it out a little bit more. So for my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to be using Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just going to quickly jump off camera and do my eyebrows. I do have an eyebrow routine that um, unfortunately was deleted in that big weird YouTube thing. So um, hopefully I can recover that video for you guys soon. If not, I'll just have to film another tutorial. But for now, I'm going to do them off camera and I will be back. Okay, so eyebrows are done. I'm now going to move on to contouring my face. I'm going to be using my Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics and my little fakey ITA NARS Eda. Do you call it Eda or ITA? I don't know. Anyway, it's fake, so it doesn't even matter. But it was like $8 from eBay. It does just as good of a job. And is cheap. So I'm going to use them and I'm going to contour my face a little bit. of my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Light to Medium Powder and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my cheeks a little bit. And for blush today I'm just going to use my Essence Blush in the shade Pinky Flow and I'm using that on my powder slash blush F15 brush. 
highlighter today, I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I'm using that on my Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And I'm just going to line my lips today with my Chi Chi Cosmetics Lip Liner in the color Centerfold. I'm going to pretty much line my lips and fill them in with this color as well. And for lipstick today, I'm just using my MAC lipstick in the shell in the shower in the color Cream Cup. And that is the finished makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you recreate this look, make sure you tag me in the pictures on Instagram or Twitter. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below letting me know what videos you'd like me to film next. Also, thank you so much again for all of the new subscribers. I um, really, really appreciate all of your kind comments. It really, really like means the world to me. You guys have no idea how happy it made me when I saw all of those coming through. So thank you so, so much. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.